Oh, welcome, I'm Daily Fix, and we're going to be playing Stellaris yet again. The game is still currently in version, I believe, 2.3. I have to take a quick rest. Yeah, 2.3.3. And I decided to get back. It's been such a long time. But I actually took the time this time to, uh, to add some mods to the game. So um, I'm going to be running down uh, the mods for for you, and I will do that in the the best way possible. And that's just um, making sure you guys to just just see it. Here you go. So these are the mods that I'm that we are going to be playing with um, the NSC2 Season Four downscaled ships, Gilly's Planet modifiers 2.3, and still have to add the link. Um, planetoid ship graphics mod, we got the planetoid ships pack, we got the planetoid ships pack, the NSC patch 2.3, Gilly's Technologies, he's been working really hard on this one, it's been out for, I think a few months right now, uh, the more events mods, realistic ships, and I believe some of these will require you to have the Stellaris planetoid species pack, why is this type wrong, I just took, I copy pasted the links, Plantoids, whatever. It should be just should be just fine. So these are the uh, the mods that I am currently playing with. I'm still debating. I'm still debating if we are going to be putting those into a playlist or a mod pack or just uh, copy paste these into uh, the description. That kind of depends on uh how large my description is going to be now for those of you who are new to the channel i've been playing stellaris for quite a while and i enjoy that and i've been out for a while let's turn this one off there you go um and i'm back i'm back and i'm excited and i asked my discord community say what would you like me to play and they were saying united nation of earth <laughs> thank you Oh boy, so, um, going in here, I would like to show you the shipped appearances, because they changed due to uh, some of the uh, the mods, and we have the white planetoid ship set, and the black planetoid ship set, although I don't really see the difference in here just now, I do like the white planetoid ship set a lot, so we're going there, also uh, in your appearances, uh, the white planetoids and the black planetoids, uh, as soon as you click them, traits are gone. So I don't think you can actually play with those, so we'll, we'll just keep it human. We'll just keep it human, we'll, we won't change anything else. And uh, let's save this one again, uh, let's go with done. Uh, huge stars for 30 of 5, 5, 1, 2, 1, 1 and a half. Um, end game, starting year, whatever of... We are playing, and this is what's important, nobody cares about this anymore, nobody cares, we just like wars, and we don't like them to be advanced at the start. Uh, fallen empires are cool and marauders can really mess up your game, so they're amazing. Uh, some of you would say you should boost the crisis strength to free, and no. Grand Admiral, scaling difficulty, I used to have this on because I liked that empires would grow with you. Unfortunately, it was also one of the things that probably ended up messing with my other games. The scaling doesn't really work. They would have to scale with you and that by year 15, 25 you would be like way too powerful for them. AI aggressiveness is just normal, doesn't change anything. Putting this on hard or high is just going to make them do dumb things. Empire placement is going to be random, advanced neighbors are off, doesn't really matter because we have no advanced in the starts at the uh, start anyways. Carvaneers is on and Iron Man is off because he can't play and I, uh, okay I'll show you, like shift tab. I have 7 out of 104 achievements because I usually play for you guys here on, on, on YouTube. Why is this there? I don't need it over there. Um, oh, look at that, almost 400 hours. Um, I kind of don't have free time and I always record what I'm playing. So every video you will see from me on my channel is my only free time playing a game. Please consider that. 
Now, for those of you who are watching this, consider hitting that thumbs up button. Really, that would help my channel out a lot. Also, links are in the description. Join us on Discord. And there's a pretty nice group out there who are desperately in need of more friends. And so am I. We need people that like Stellaris and would really like to play some multiplayers with us. And yo, yes, those eventually might just be live streams. Could be fun. Anyways, enough talk. Let's go. Once again, I don't get the um, the NSC starting things all over. So I have to check as soon as we get into the game in the ship designer. If, um, if the mod is working. Uh, we'll see that in a second. But it should be working. If I did do this correctly this time and I'm saying this time because I already recorded two episodes and things went sour I'm not meaning that I failed in my duties um, but it uh, yeah look at it it, 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 it it's working default behavior and empty slots I wasn't playing with the NSC2 uh, patch or mod which I would really like and why would I like these is that adds a lot of things for your ship that will allow them to do several things like if you have um, artillery with a freaking range of 200 which is amazing and I am yet to see those then you could probably set them look I want you to go into range of 200 and just stay there have some fun with the enemy, but do not come any closer. We also have the hit and run behavior. Your empires will move your empires. Yes, you got fallen. You got flying empires all over the space. Uh, your ships are... Um, uh, your ships are going towards the enemy. And doing their round and just pull off. Which is amazing. It, just, it makes no sense to be balling up at... All. So yeah, th th those are some things that you will definitely see throughout. Um, this doesn't matter at all at the early start because it just it doesn't. It. Ooh, we got a nice outer rim there, but it looks like this is going to be semi-secure. Otherwise, there's going to be an area up here. This is all closed. Oof. One. Wait a minute. Aren't these connected at all? Damn. Oh, wow. Oh, me like. Oh, me definitely like. Look at that. We, 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 this, this is a choke point. And uh, this is maybe a choke point. Because we don't know. If this one is not open, then this is going to be such an important choke point. If we don't get it, we are going to be growing tall. And that is not by choice, but out of necessity. And we don't like those. No. So, um, science ship. Hello. Hello, science ship. I need you to make your run all the way up here first and you'll have plenty of things to do. Now we're going to be waiting until we have around 200 in energy credits before doing anything. So let's unpause the game. Let's select. Oh, that is way too early. We don't need that just now. Fusion reactors is quite nice. Physics. 20%. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's do it. Oh, population growth speed. Yes, because we are playing as a pre-made uh, empire, the United Nation of Earth has been in the game since day one. Uh, we don't have growth speed at all. Oh, armor versus weapons. Mm, let's go with weapons. I do like my weapons. Do we have? Wait a minute. Are we having it? Oh, yes, we do. A spark of genius. Oh, boy, I'm going to love you already. Uh, let's see. What could we recruit? Oh, another genius. <laughs> hey, yes, please. Um, because there are some leaders in here that are... To say the least. Yes, I know. That is what I wanted to say. We're going to be genius. We're going to be removing one of these two. These are all nice. These are all, uh, on anomaly research speed. Absolutely brilliant early on. Uh, Surveying speed, absolutely brilliant early on. Um, end game, not so much. Mid game, not so much early on. Yes, please. We all love them. Plans. Plans. Let's talk about plans for my planet. 
I want to be focusing on research because some of the mods that I selected are quite into research tree. We've got the goalies, technology, research tree 2.3, and um, it ha adds a lot of research. We have the NSC, the NSC2 will add a bunch of research. So what we need to be adding is a bunch of research. But first things first, we will be getting the uh, the, the monument just for the sake of getting more unity because unity early on is going to be brilliant now we're already getting close we do not have the minerals for another science ship oh wait a minute they're not using minerals <laughs> they've not been using minerals since version 2 which is ages ago uh, let's go for another science ship because by the time we get there we will have 200 He's going to be responding. The other science ship. I kind of want to beeline it towards here. To, just to see if this is closed. Is this is closed? We have <laughs> oh, damn. An oh, this is going to be problematic. And I say problematic. Because if one if one empire takes this, we're boned. Um, a small rectangular object on the surface of this moon is deflecting our scanner beam like a mirror. Our sensors are unable to determine the material composition. Mm -hmm. Let's research that. I don't like that. Once again, the Bernard Star. What are you doing, Bernard Star? I don't like it like that. Let's go to speed 2. There is definitely some minerals, complete. which is interesting for us. Um, did this change? No. Uh, you're going to be doing that. And you are going to be getting the Spark of Genius, fella. There you go. And looking at our research, 12-12-2. We want to change this one as well. Uh, but this scientist, uh, like I said, we're going to be queuing up to go all the way up here. Hopefully it's closed. Hopefully it's not. I'm, I'm debating if it's good or bad. And I'm thinking it might be bad. But otherwise, I'm still very interested in seeing what it will do to the game. And I'm absolutely enjoying that. Ah. <sighs> Man, back in the cell. It's been such a such a long time. There apparently is something we can do over here. Ooh, we got a lot of slot openings here. Does it mean there are more options? Nanite dispersion field. Armor nullification? <laughs> oh boy. Oh yes, I like that. And this will gain us energy. We got a Starbase Custom All Officer. Oh, that's nice. Starbase Administrator. Beacon of Liberty. Hey, wait a minute. That is so expensive. That is very expensive. We have Beacon of Liberty. Completed. So would it be adding up the monthly unity? Damn, that would be very nice. That would be very, very, very nice. Alien Mural! Um, translate the Alien Mural. While occurring to subspace of the Bernard Star, science officer... Yemeni Quella or... Hey, these are not highlighted anymore. That's weird. Uh, what appears to be artificial carved slabs of rock covered in the alien writing. They have not determined any other signs of alien activity on uh, on the moon. Mm, it's fascinating. Has been so, let's go to you. Let's shift and control, right click, research that. Because it's, it's 180 days to research some slabs? <laughs> wow. Uh, that must be they must be very elaborate so right clicking with our construction ship and allow us to build the mining stations so we're going to be focusing quite heavy on research i think that would be nice it would be a nice change of pace also i know not everyone likes the fastest game speed and in order to uh we'll, we'll go to second we'll, we have some more time to talk i have some time to um go more in depth about comments so if you have things that i did wrong if you have suggestions if you want to talk to me about your day let me know in the comment section and i will get back to you uh, first thing is we're going for the anomaly research speed because they usually take the longest changing this one well, it doesn't really change but i think it will just add um, i can't see it because i clicked it away already yeah, uh, it will probably just add a percentage somewhere. 
Uh, well, not over here, which is unfortunate. So, we have encountered some sort of alien vessel in the Bernard Star system. The strange object has been flagged as friends. Oh boy. <laughs> Let's investigate friends. Uh, <laughs> they're not friends, are they? <laughs> oh boy. Oh. Ooh, 19 months. These friends, they cost me quite a bit. Uh, because this will pause our research. Hmm. They will pause it on growth speed. Ah, it's not that important, I guess. <clears throat> Sorry for that. Let's research it, whatever. Let's have some fun with it, whatever. We'll just continue along our path. Um, as managed to partially translate the alien mural discovery to the Bernard Star. It is a memorial to an extent of extinct alien race. Oh, this is on the moon. Wow. Raiders are a mural. They were apparently ex exterminated by the creators of the mural. Holy crap. And they became to regret it. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> oh, this is new. A pop-up. Is that new? I don't remember. Um, yeah, I don't care about the world survey. Just give me the uh, the influence. I think that's more important. This already is starting to be so interesting. Five physics and five minerals on a planet. I like that. So once we hit up to 200 again, we're going to be building our third science vessel. And this science vessel is going to be exploring this tiny region of our territory. Hello, friend. Okay, we have to be taking a look at our so-called friends. Um, they are just space space forms. Huh. Okay. Let's go to our first fleet. Let's see if we get. Uh... That is so blam bright. Let's zoom up. Oh, what is the camera doing? Please. <clears throat> Please, game. Oh, let's do a shift 9 here. Yeah. Got some nice ships around there. You can see the uh, the friend over there. I like how these ships look, man. I really like how these ships look. There is also something here. An asteroid. The lithium mine. No, that's uh, Star Trek New Horizons, actually. Um, actually, I kind of like it from this angle. You know what? I smell a thumbnail around here. Might not be the best ship with the best um, one, but hey, <laughs> hey, thumbnail's a thumbnail. <laughs> hey, can't argue with that. Let's go, shift nine. Let's continue our game. And we'll we see how this friend. Oh, this is hellish and it's taking you forever. Um, scans detected the usual run of pen. Yeah, leave that for now. I, I don't mind doing research, but that is. Just too much. Just too much. I can't handle that. So the science ship is doing their best. He's moving forward. The Bernard Star is not too interesting. It has two energy. It has it has some minerals. But unfortunately, we're going to be adding. There's our first continental world. System survey hey, we should be building a colonization ship. Why? Because we might need it. Does our capital have anything else? No. Oh well, it's fine. Eight houses. We have some anomalies. There's still available jobs. Probably in... Anemity. Uh, anomalies. Great. Abandoned gateway. Seriously, already over there. This, this friend is... Uh, there are a lot of friends. <laughs> Damn, there are a lot of friends. Construction completed. That's done. Construction ship is now aboard. To the research, we are getting close to 200. We might as well queue up our new assigned ship. There you go. I'm debating. I'm debating if I should go for a second construction ship. Probably. Well, we got a lot of influence and I like that. We are, we're going to be using all of it. What the hell is this? That seems like a space engineer's fail. Um, so the scientist, the um, 
Jelani Kwai. 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 Sounds Japanese. Um, on board the science vessel, the Tesla has made a fascinating discovery on Cirrus 5. The ship scanners are detecting massive quantities of various alloys and chemical, um, chemicals spreading across the surface of this world. Wrecks of ships can be seen from orbit and are truly huge in scale. A titanic battle must have once raged overhead and the world is now littered with a rusty, a rusted skeletons of crafts that once ruled the skies. Hmm. Yeah, we are going to be spending 20 influence here. Let's take a second look. And that is over here. So, control shift, research projects. And it is over here. Oh, can provide a habitat bonus. Yeah, can provide. Hmm, can also destroy, probably. It's very beautiful, but it will, uh, I don't know if it's that good. Let us go with surveying speed, because it will help our exploration drive. Getting there, building the colonization ship, then the other science ship. And, oh, it is definitely, definitely not closed. This system is going to be equally important as this system around here. It is still a good amount of space, though. Um, but will happen, what will happen next is for the next episode. My friends, thank you so much Special for watching. Has um, you know what? Here we go. After spreading the external time studies, the remarkable features of the planet below, our scientist team aboard the Tesla are ready to report their finding. Our science officer, uh, um, Jelani. How the hell did I get Jelani? Jelani. I guessed it wrong. I guessed it right. That's surprising. As reported, the scientist team has made several additional discoveries studying the unique planet. The newfound knowledge greatly expands our understanding of the universe. And we gained 700 alloys. <laughs> well, that paid off relatively nice. I love that. If you are enjoying this, please consider hitting that subscribe button and don't forget to smash that like button. It will help out my channel a great deal at the cost of merely a second for you. And I hope to see you next time. Check out my description as well for the links like the Discord community. Have fun. Enjoy your day. See you next time. Goodbye.